Here's a guy who impregnates women and moves on. He beats women. He. I don't want to be overly um, uh, praising Kevin because Kevin has serious issues. Yeah, you <laughs> I watched it live. <laughs> he, told a he told a story how he got locked up. It was a restraining order against him. And as soon as he, he did a year, as soon as he got out, he went back to the house that he had a restraining order against and looked through the window. Yeah. <laughs> he said he saw his baby mother peeing and she smelled the tissue. Yeah, she did. She was on the toilet peeing. I'm looking. She white. You know, the girl's white, but then she was like this. I was like, this is near. So I jumped back off the balcony. I said, and I called. I said, yo, you nasty. I see. She was like, okay. she called the police on me. She called the police on me. I got oh. locked up again. Wow. After doing a year, she locked me up again because I told her, I smell. I said, you smelling your pee pee or whatever. Yo, yo poo poo, you're. Yo, wow. yo, what's wrong That's with a that? fact. Yo. yo, let me stop. Go ahead. Let's go to the chat. Yo. So, so, oh, so. Well, he was doing things that I, I, I think Kevin is a fascinating character. Individually, he's smart, he's creative, he's intelligent, but he has internal contradictions and difficulties that make it difficult for him to succeed in America as it's set up. If you don't stop running your mouth <laughs> indirectly, directly, I'm going to start interviewing your ops. They're going to start giving me some paperwork. And they're going to tell me all the bad things you've been doing. Because lately, for the past couple of months, they've been hitting me up. Yo, I know this. I know that. Ask them about this. Ask them about that. Yo, they're trying to expose you niggas. And I'm like, all right. Dude. KK212 with me, baby. Yeah. Uh, what up? That's it. Yeah. So, now, now, you know, I'm your older brother. So, yo, this, this takes you to a whole new different plateau. Even with niggas everywhere, you heard? Hating niggas, all that. Facts. You gotta, you gotta be strong now, you heard? Facts. You gotta be militant, you heard? That's you a, a fact. different type of breed now. You, 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 you didn't graduate, you mean... You already graduated, but now you've been stamped. So you've been stamped, and it's not your son. You you stand worldwide, worldwide. It's not a game no more. Facts. And trying to keep it thorough. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like Wildcat. You know, a couple of good dudes, y'all. The, the cheating thing, they um, she got used to, and. Uh, but she wasn't going to get used to the physical abuse. And that's what leads to, you know, there's some fascinating scenes because I was around for a little bit of it and then um, I break it down moment to moment exactly how these moments occurred. I think it's a good insight into domestic violence and how Kevin feels as if he's being disrespected. Yeah. And uh, because he doesn't make enough money to really help the household, so therefore he has no say in the household, which rankles him and pushes him to the edge and then uh, he he believes into domestic violence and how he, Kevin feels as if he's being disrespected. Yeah. Fuck you, CO. Fuck it. Can you do me a favor? I just ask you one thing. That, 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 that. Doing that. And Fuck you, CO. Fuck you right now. Fuck like CO's, man. Motherfuck CO's getting on my nerves, man. Your herb was popping. Oh, snap. Damn, I forgot to say. Damn. Oh, man, I forgot something. Yeah? Yeah. Sure you told me your nerves, All right. Out of here. Out of here. I heard you. You God. better hit that fucking broom. Yo, stop God. playing with me. God. Fuck him. <laughs> stop playing. Kevin's credibility is an issue. So if Kevin is going to tell you a story, you have to make sure that that story is true. You know what I'm saying? Violence in the veil. Hold on, man. Let me see if I can turn this. You know what I'm saying? Turn this joint this way. Violence in the veil. You heard? See that? Violence in the veil. Niggas make articles about me. Look at the date. Look at the date on this. Let me see the date. They don't have the date on it. But it's 1994. You heard? The whole article is about... Valence in the Ville, my shootouts, you know, things of that nature, killing on homicide, drug, but then they got me down here, books got their neighborhood covered. 
because I was on the front cover of the book. Now look, he got it. DeVille got his critics, Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis. Now, he carries the Ville around with him during his entire sentence. Why? Why does he have your book? Because most of his friends didn't read the book. And even though he's not in the book, he's on the cover. And they assume that there was a book written about him. And, and I became what? A lab rat. I became a lab rat. To some extent, to me being in a book. Even though he's not in the book, Kevin's he's on the cover. They assume that there was a so book if Kevin is going to tell you a story, you have to make sure that that story is true. many times as he would make mistake after mistake and uh, he's, he, he believes in intimidation and uh, you know we've had issues with that between us. I, I, I would think so. I mean here's a guy who impregnates women and moves on. He beats women. He, he creates and comes from unstable fluid families. The um, uh, emotional um, stability um, the relationship, the respectful relationship with the children. He loves his children, but the consistency, the um, uh, emotional um, stability, um, the relationship, the respectful relationship between the two leaders of the heads of the family, um, he doesn't, he can't manage that. And ultimately, he goes to jail for physically assaulting her. Yes. Um, how old was your daughter when she came out? She was born in 2005, she came out in 2007, she was two years old. Yeah. And she also got a dead number. <laughs> wow. Yes, she got a dead number too. I'm going to tell you what happened. I didn't know. So I tried to file taxes. So they wound up, because I even had custody of my, which wasn't my child. But my girlfriend's oldest daughter, who's all white, my daughter is biracial. So she had an older sister that's all white that I took care of, her and the mother. We, you know, we had a house, big house, whatever, cars. And, so I took her out. But my girlfriend's oldest daughter, who's all white, my daughter is biracial. So she had an older sister that's all white that I took care of, her and the mother. We, you know, we had a house, big house, whatever, cars. And, so I took care of the kids, so I filed taxes for her and I filed taxes for the newborn. And they gave me the money for the older kid. I'm like, what happened? So I had to go to IRS, like, yo, what happened? You know, my money just disappeared. It's like, no, the Department of Correction take care of your new Wow. <laughs> we got the taxes. I said, okay, I'm gonna keep it there. <laughs> but I just wanted to get that out there, you know what I mean? I've, I've never flagged no one page. I'm, I'm being honest. You know, as much as these dudes got stuff out there about me, good and bad, tell them to show you another copy. If they can show you another thing about me flagging someone. But, um, you know. But, um, just like I said, they got troll pages out there of me that's flagging other people, things. I never met the dude, homie that shot Ricky. I had to look at the thing twice, like, who's that? You know. Kevin at home. The domestic scenes are perfectly real. On the other hand, they don't follow an inspirational pattern. And when people don't feel uplifted by what they're reading, even though that uplifting mm. in some ways is a fake. Yeah, no, I, I, my, my personal reaction was exactly that, that this guy was too mixed a character for me to really get my hands around and so alien that I couldn't get it. And I have to tell you, I didn't like the guy. 